Hello and welcome to the final episode of our Edu's Vacan campaign. The only goal that we have left is to ensure that the state of Eliza no longer exists. Now, that's not going to be too difficult for us. They are currently 179% uh, war score. And on top of that, the land down here held by Eliza is owned by Nyrat. And the cores are going to be here for quite a long time, so all we need to do is release Nyrat as an independent nation and then take the rest of the land in Eliza for ourselves or hand one province over to Busalar. Either one of those will work, and that will finish our last mission. Now, someone did say that I might have missed a mission somewhere up here, so I do want to double check, and I did, right here. So, Hesur needs a regimental camp and a conscription center, or a conscription center, and a barracks as well, and I definitely did miss that, so thank you for pointing that out. Uh, let's go ahead and get that regimental camp built up, because that will make sure that that mission is completed. Uh, and after that, I think it is literally just to make sure that Elisna does not exist. Now, our truce with Elisna is up. So we are good to do our first war against them. And we will get to that here in just a second after I hire a level 3 advisor. Uh, and by level 3, I mean level 5. We do have the money for all level 5 advisors, so we should be running them. We do, unfortunately, have a 1-2-0 ruler, so we have no monarch point generation. But at this point in the game, it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh... Since we're getting so close to the end of our run, it's not a big concern, and we can just overwhelm our enemies with numbers. All right, we have started to core up all the land that we just recently took. Servant makes a masterpiece. I will take the money. Uh, we went to war with Wretched Skull, with Tugund Darak. We took land up here, these two provinces, and we just recently completed annexing Bersartanshis and taking a bunch of land off of Abdul Tungur. Uh, so by the end of this, we won't have all of Bullwire under our control, but that's okay. We'll be fine. In our head cannons, we can say that Edwin Svaka goes on to uh, conquer the world, convert everything. It'd be great and awesome. Uh, but we are not going to sit around for that long and wait. I'm also going to annex this guy. It will be done in 1566. Hopefully enough time for us to get that done. So, uh, you know, we can have some decent looking borders uh, at the very least. All right, Eliza, I do need to claim this province right here in B at... There's three A's, that's a lot of A's. Uh, because I want to make sure that I can definitely beat them. Now, Eliza's navy, do they have any heavies? They do not. Okay, cool, never mind. We are perfectly fine then. We have a bunch of heavies being built up. Eliza's already on low. They have no mandate at all, so they are just a pushover, to be honest with you. Now, we don't need to own Koroshesh. They can exist. They are a Kedist uh, tag. So, don't have to worry about that necessarily. Which is going to make our lives much easier. Uh, and then we'll have a 15-year truce, which actually would perfectly coincide with us annexing Gelkalis. And maybe we can do some other wars while we're waiting. Like you. You have 75,000 troops. You're allied. If I wanted to declare on you, how many troops would you have? Well, none of your allies would currently join. They do own land that's technically in Bulwar. Let's get a claim. Let's see what let's see what we can do. Maybe it'll give us a somewhat decent war then. They are tech ten, and we are tech almost thirteen, so maybe not too decent of a war. Ah, uh, but we'll see. At least we'll allow us to take more of of Bulwar. Uh, diplo points or mill points? I would like the diplo points, please. Go ahead and get that boosted up. Stable government, lose the prestige. And there's that mission fulfilled, the upper one, for the departure of the exemplars. Many elven exemplars departed to the lands of their forefathers in Aelintir. However, many others decided to remain true to their oaths of Surreal and stayed in his garden. Sero Sarander started a campaign to recruit new exemplars from the pious peoples of Hashur, and many humans, elves, and even gnolls responded to the call to arms. The facilities in the city are insufficient to accommodate all these new recruits and veteran exemplars, and for that reason, Sarandar petitioned the temple to build a proper headquarter for the order, not only for the new recruits, but also to attract to our country some of the remaining exemplars in Bulwar. Till the end of the game, that province gets minus 15% local regiment cost and plus 10% religious unity, and it unlocks the Order of Exemplars Holy Order interaction. After the month tick here, we will go explore what that would do. Uh... Was it the Call of Surreal? I thought we already had that one. No, we definitely already had that one. 
Maybe it's not in this one? Maybe it's here in Farbola? No. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overlooking it. Or is it Elven Recruitment? That might be what it is. I think it is. I don't know if we had this one before. Reinforced Garrison. Book of Resume Cost. Well, whatever it is. Uh, some really strong bonuses in here. Really strong. Uh, unfortunately for us, by the time that we would want to be using them, we've already kind of gotten past them. Though, I mean, I have so much temple power. We're just sitting on temple power. But it gives, you know, 10% morale of armies at max temple power and 10% all states loyalty. Like, that's crazy strong. Crazy, crazy strong. Very difficult to spend it, but, uh, I mean, there are some crazy bonuses in there if you do. Okay, get that siege down. Again, this is not going to be a big deal. And I think in this peace deal, we're going to force you to release Nyrat. And I am going to take this. Sure. Works for me. Uh, actually, does anyone have a core here? Nefeset does. Let's release Nefeset as well. Wait, no. Not from you. From Eliza. Uh, go ahead and give me less provinces then. Nefeset. Oh, Nefeset owns as much as Nyrat does. Honestly, that's fine. That works for me. 100% peace deal. Not a problem. Busalar is calling us into a war that we cannot join. Because we are already in war. But I will click accept. Uh, but we won't actually join. But that does mean that we probably won't be able to release everything because Busalar will have it occupied. This may actually ruin our peace deal, funnily enough, and it may let Eliza live longer. So let's go through and try and get all this occupied as quickly as possible before Busalar ruins it for everybody. There we go. We do engage in a fight without a general, which is obviously not preferable. But hey, it is what it is. You're going to walk there, and you're going to walk there. Eliza is going to be taken by us. All is good. So we're not able to release this province, but I don't really care about that. We've won the Siege of Eliza, and that is 99% war score. Let's go ahead and release Nyrat. Apparently, we can't release the other tag now, which, uh, hey, it's fine because Busalar will end up taking it. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, no. Demanding Amatkora without occupying the fort. Oh, I need to occupy this fort. Oh, there you go. They just gave it over to me. Cool. No money. We want a short truce as we possibly can get. We are way over our government capacity, by the way. All right, let's get all of our troops back to uh, the province of Bolar. Let's get all of our ships into here. I did build a bunch of heavy ships just to make sure we could beat Elisna. Turns out we didn't need that, but you can't have too many heavy ships, right? 29 in this case is probably too many, I will admit. Uh, get you back to protecting trade, please. You also make your way to Bolar. You also make your way to Bolar. And we're going to prepare to hopefully get the rest of Bulwar under our control, or at least a decent chunk of it. Krathenor is 163% war score. And Abdel Tunger is 159. I'm not sure we'll be able to pull off annexing the both of them. Ooh, he's also allied to Vern, which is going to just make the war a lot longer. We'll see, though. We'll see. Obviously, the most important thing is allies that we could just truce break them and kill them now. But, uh... Ah, what the heck? We might as well just try and take the rest of Bulwar. Okay, 103,000 troops here. That is very cool. The current combat width is 27. So, number one, delete the cap. I don't want cap at this point in the game. Number two... I need... 35... You can get 27. Move you over here. Grab 30 of you, build 10 more cannons, and then we can fill out the rest of our force limit with a bunch of infantry. 
There we go. And then our militaries will be ready to march south and take the rest of Bulwar, which is, of course, rightfully ours. We're also waiting for the Golden Highway to be done building, so we're not in a rush. Right, we're doing fine. We are going to have an uprising here, so let's get our mercs up here to deal with the dudes. Man, I built a lot of... Uh, a lot of heavies. 32 of them. It might be a bit overkill, I will admit. Might not be the most necessary thing that I have done. But I don't regret it. But okay, you're the siege guy, so you get down here. You're the fight guy, you get down here. You're the backup fight guy, you get down here. Uh, you have more diplo points, please. Because diplo points are going to. Make it to where I can annex our vassal. Which I do want to be doing. Uh, yeah, we can build some really good uh, state houses here. To lower our government capacity usage. So let's do that. Now I do wonder what Buslar is going to take here. He doesn't want the rest of Eliasna's land. Oh, I also need to make sure that we get another claim on Eliasna. And that truce is up in 73. Maybe we truce break him at some point. but we'll see. No! All right, it's not my fault. Just remember, why can't I make a claim on you? I don't know, but just remember folks, you saw it first, they betrayed me, okay? I did nothing, I suppose that's not true. I took Fear and Yalin, which is enough to get minus 200 relations. That's this prov province. It's a, it's a whole thing about why the dwarves want this. Long story short, there is a possibility that if a dwarf owns all of this land, they can dam up Lake Jorkad and it gives them passive dig speed. And so dwarves want it really badly, even if there's no reasonable way that they could own this. And thus the situation that we are currently in. All right, you, I don't know who you are, or what you're about. I don't know anything about Sarhol, but I do know that you own land that I want. And that means it's wartime, baby. Let's go. Not gonna be a very difficult war, I would assume. We have tech, we have manpower, we have everything we need. And again, I'm just looking for the stuff that's in Bulwar. I, I don't need to bully them too badly. Well, maybe a little bit of bullying. They did take stuff in Bulwar. There is, unfortunately, another province in Bulwar that I do not currently own, and that is this. I don't know if we'll reasonably be able to take this one. Because they're going to call in Buvari, and this Buvari will hire a lot of mercenaries. And that war will last a very long time, if I had to guess. So maybe we avoid that. Uh, we go every province that we can reasonably get in Bulwar. Now, if we were going to keep going with this run, well then, yeah, I'd probably try to keep it going, but I'm telling you, that Buvari is going to have a lot of mercenaries. A lot of mercenaries are going to cause us a lot of pain and suffering that is not really worth it. Alright, we see his troops back here, so let's move our main combat stack back around to deal with them. Move here. I know, I know, we were such friendly neighbors for so long, but at the end of the day... You do own land that I need, and so therefore you must die. Are you a vassal? Yes. I was going to say, I thought it was a thousand crowns for the gnomes. Maybe not. Uh, We can actually afford to lose a stab. Not a big deal. No, you keep walking forward. Their troops need to be fought. I'm going to go after the 47,000 first. We'll see how we compare to them. Uh, Day of the Sheep is actually a special thing, so we'll read it here in a second. Alright, there we go. They have too many cavalry. We have better discipline and way better morale. We have plus one morale on them. So, that should kind of be it for them. Yeah, they're going to get absolutely obliterated. A lot of cavalry that they just lost there. Uh, let's read this event. The Day of the Sheep. 
For centuries, the Zanjepi of the Shadsur Mountains have celebrated the Umaslu, the Day of the Sheep, on the winter solstice. Named after the shadow cast by the local mountains, which very much resembles such a creature, it is celebrated by strict adherence to all the sun cult's tenets and prayers to give surreal strength to bring back longer days, along with big place of spiced ovine meat. Recently, with the influx of visitors to the restored Ekluzagnu, people from across Bulwar have learned of the tradition. Towns across the land have started to host their own versions of the festival, borrowing the Zanjapi name and rituals, even if no mountains cast any animal-shaped shadows in their vicinity. The herders hearing about this have mostly reacted with amusement, along with delight at this newfound market for their livestock. Now that word has reached the Ishiak Surakel, he must decide his reaction as well. Should Eduzvakin embrace this new tradition with a state-sponsored feast at the next solstice, or should we leave it in the domain of the peasants? Sure, any festival that honors Surreal is one we will embrace. Till 1586, we gain minus 10 percent stab cost and plus one tolerance of the true faith. Not bad. It's just a time to celebrate. Who doesn't like a time to celebrate? It sounds great. Hold the highway construction. All right. All right, we're at 36% war score. We can take Bulwar now. And I will. I, I'm a man of my word. I, I won't even take 0.1 ducats because I'm not allowed to. There we go. We just take Bulwar. We go our separate ways. That's it. Bulwar wants access, huh? Sure. What's our trust? It's at 50. Hmm. Well, let's get a spy network built up on these guys. We'll see what we can do. Oh, I already have a spy from Avil Tunger, or a claim, which is kind of unfortunate because that is not an easy claim for me to go and take. Pure ale. And it's fine, but I prefer another one. I mean, maybe we can get away with threatening war here. It's possible. Who else is he allied to? It's just people I can't reach. Like you. Like, I could no CB him, though. I have the admin points. I have the aggressive expansion. There's just one thing I don't have. Boats. I don't have the boats in this region of the world. And I sure as heck cannot get my other navy over here. And if I don't have a navy... Well, I'm not going to get out to here. Because if I can... I could block off their navy by putting a bunch of ships out here. And it would at least slow them down. And allow me to get there. But without that, I'm kind of screwed. So. Treason? I'll take some more professionalism. That's fine. But again, we're just kind of chilling out. So. It's not all too big of a deal. Galkalos is getting annexed. It is currently 41% of the way there. Uh, gold Particularists, okay. Segdir. Segdir. B the Betrayer Segdir. Uh, and great news! Shisora has been released. I need to break my guarantee. Shisora has been released by Busalar, which means I just go and kill Eliza for free once our truce is done. Very, very easy. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would like to get another claim on Abdel Tunger here. And I would like to get a claim on Sir Casabed. Yeah, Buslar, give me some money. I suppose I can get that done. But yeah, I really don't want to fight Buvari. I, I think it's honestly worth it to just... Just no CB this guy instead of fighting Buvari. That's how many mercenaries that I think Buvari will hire for this. Now, Sarcasabid has a quite large navy. We're going to need to be very confident that his navy is not going to be able to get to this island. Now, if I currently declare war here, Buvari would join. Break your alliance with Sarcasabid? Yeah, no, he says no. He's... He's way too strong for me to make such threats against. And he knows it. I mean, if he was at war with someone large, like the command, maybe there'd be a way. The command is busy fighting these guys. So, I think what we're going to have to do then is just do that no CB. 
It's just simply gonna have to work. Let's see, here's his main navy. So, let's go to Pisiraga. We can declare war on you. Sarcastic bid will join. It is an OCB, and I do not care. Not one single bit. He's going to take his navy out pretty much immediately, I would assume. Yep, but it doesn't matter. As long as we can cross, that is a successful sacrifice that we are willing to make. Thank you for your service, troops. It's been an honor. And these 40,000 troops are staying right there. They are not moving. Because if somehow they can get to this island and take that, we are out of luck. We are not going to be able to get it back. That was our one special maneuver that we could make. Now, they do have a War Wizard. I'm not concerned about it, though. They're Tech 12. They have 45,000 troops. Uh, this full stack will probably go and thrash them. Obviously, the War Wizard could complicate that a little bit, but... Not a big deal. Actually, I'm going to send this stack down here. And then I will move the 40,000 around. Because they have 10 cannons. So I'd rather have the cannons running around and able to siege things down. Can't go straight for his capital. Are they actually going to reinforce this? You still lose. Eh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Now I just barrage. Uh, I'll take the Diplo points. Thank you. I'm looking at you, Segdir. You're allied to Gore Varad. The angry dwarfs. Are you sure you want to be allied to the angry dwarfs? I hear they don't like other dwarfs too much. Or goblins or elves or you know anyone I, I don't think the angry dwarves like anybody to be honest with you. i don't even think they like themselves they're just as likely to start brawling that they are to fight enemies and they gave us a free siege check we can enact another government reform uh tier seven yearly corruption reduction less estate influence stab cost and cultural conversion cost minus 15 percent Divine Nobility. We're gonna talk, you know what? Let's just go for Zealous Administrators. Doesn't really matter, but feels like it makes sense. Anytime that you guys want to take those provinces, then we'll be well on our way out of here. Literally just one of these forts falls, and I think we have the war score we need. Again, I just want, just want the Bulwar stuff. That's it. No greed. No nothing. Let me have the Bulwar stuff, and we are all good to go. The Tunger, I can claim you. You're at war with... These guys? Why? Ah, Ordia. Yep, Ordia decked. Alright, Sarkasimid has fallen. I take this province. No one cares. Thank you very much. Alright. It has already been started to get converted. No, no, no. Core first, then convert. Right, you guys... I would fight Segdir. It would be very funny to go and break their hold. But we do have a truce. And I don't care that much, necessarily. Yeah, I don't care that much. So I'm not going to worry about it. All these ships right here can go and get deleted. I don't need them. That was literally the only thing that I needed them for. Are there any other ships being built here? Yeah, you can just cancel them. Our sacrificial ships, or sacrificial ships, are, well, sacrificed. They've done their job. Okay, you go do it with these guys, and we can just speed by. So our truce with Avdal Tungur is not up till 1572, so... This is probably going to be the extent of our borders. Uh, we can cast plant growth. I mean, yeah, I really don't know where else that we would go. I suppose I could make some claims on Chisora to try and take them out. That would be an option. Those are, yeah, I was going to say, those are harpies. Luckily, we're right where we need to be. The command is now no longer monstrous. Congratulations to the command. Our war with Segdir is up. You know what? 
We don't have anything else to do, right? I think we go say hello to our best buds, Segdir. You know, they broke our alliance for no reason. And you know what? We're going to remind them. Just, just a little reminder. That, that is not very nice. Okay? That is, in fact, very rude to do. We've been friends for such a long time, and yet they turn our backs on us. I do not think so. Not so easily. All right? And in return, well, we'll make sure a dwarf that we support looks over their hold for them. I think that's a good idea. What do you think, Vorker Gulan? Want some more land? I haven't fed you literally all game. Uh, so let's do that right now, shall we? Oh, we already took Segdir. Okay, well, I was expecting a little bit more resistance than that. But, okay. Why is there so much supply limit here? 46. Why? Oh, empower plant growth. Interesting. I suppose it's not an aspect of plant growth that I never really thought of. 100% supply limit is a lot. You can really save yourself on attrition there. He says as he marches 62,000 troops through the Dwarvar. <laughs> yeah, you can really save on attrition when you, you know, you're really careful about it. There's Gore Varad. Send you over to deal with him. I'm not too worried about Gore Varad. They have 19,000 troops. Not too worried. Get that claim on Shisora. <sighs> Maybe we should have... Well, if I would have known that he was going to release Shasora, I would have just taken a, the province, the island of Eliasna, and then we would have been done. Like, we would have completed the mission, because Eliasna would have ceased to exist after the release. But I didn't know that. No way I could have known that. Oh, you think because I've destroyed your hold, you get to destroy my vassal's hold? I don't think so, bud. Sorry, but I, I can't allow that. Yeah. You know, it's kind of against uh, our policy here, which is I get to ruin other people's holds, but not my subjects, friends, or allies' holds. And you see, you've decided you don't want to be my ally, which means your hold uh, it's no longer protected by the warranty. I'm afraid to tell you. Okay, you are a fast little guy, though. For being so short, you are kind of kind of fast. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take admin tech. That's fine. Unlocks an idea group. I don't know. Choose... Uh, maritime. We love maritime ideas, right, guys? We all love to take maritime ideas. Remove Segdir's historical friend. They did it first. This time, it's not even my fault. They attacked first. I simply... Well, actually, they broke our alliance. Then I attacked. I guess that still makes me the bad guy. But, but, in my defense, they're just sitting there. They're just chilling. Can you call yourself a true leader of a nation if you don't go and beat up your old friends right on your border that you had no reason to actually fight them. Look, they were being greedy, okay? They wanted my random mountain province that they barely even know exists. And yet I'm the bad guy? Really? For just cleaning up borders? People always want good borders, which means I must be doing the right thing. It's simple math. Apparently I can embrace the institution. Sure. Sounds good to me. There you are. I've been trying to find their army. Laurent is no longer a valid rival. Neither is Goed. We are simply built different. 50 Avon points. Thank you. Taking this fight in the caves. That's fine. Again, we're not too concerned with things like manpower right now. Cogzal and Separatus. Yeah, what's new? What's new? When's there not Cogzal and Separatist? Is my question. I mean, maybe if I actually had troops down there to not let the rebels get more Separatism in the provinces, then I'd stop getting rebels there. But that's neither here nor there. Um, they're just there. So, we have to go deal with them. Alright, Segdir. Are you done? Are you good? Rook of Gulan... Gulan. Gulan. Yeah, this seems about right to me. Oh, I do have to go take care of those rebels, though. Definitely need to take care of those rebels. 
so I can occupy the, uh, or transfer the occupation. There we go. Now you can make your way up to Gorvas and Brog. Transfer that over to Orkogulan. And this peace deal is going to look like that. Then we might as well just give Orkogulan all this stuff down here if we can get away with it. Beautiful. For some reason, this still hasn't been colonized, which seems weird. Kind of feels like that's something that should have been done a while ago. Oh man, I can't take everything over here. Uh, that's fine. Maybe something like that. Sure. That is going to require 100% war score, though. Oh, that's not good. No, no, Gorvarad. Let's not do that. Thank you, though. Thank you for the offer. But I would rather my fort not fall. Or it could fall, too. That works. I'm cool with that. We don't have any cannons on this stack, either. Which kind of sucks. Uh, Tech-wise, sure, I'll take the tech. I'll take that. Truce with Eliza is up in 73. So we are almost there. And I think we'll just truce break them after this war, honestly. Since it's the end. Uh, and you know what? Just leave these caves out. Make sure that Verkogulan owns Segdir. That's what they get for breaking their alliance. My honor has now been defended. And I'm going to claim this. I'm then going to threaten Shisora for that province. For Katraz. Thank you. And I just want this closest person to go down there and start the siege down when we truce break them here in just a moment. Right, go call the noble rebels. It's fine. Make our way over. Eventually. Thank you. Let's declare the war for Eliza. We do not care about AE. We do not care about stability. We do not care about war exhaustion. All of these things can be fixed. Very easily, in fact. Go and split up. You move over here. We do a naval barrage. And we assault the province. What's up now, elves? What are you going to do? And that, right there, is the end of Eliza. And also, the end of our mission tree. A new sun. After centuries of tribulations, of rampant darkness, of devastation, the temple is now the sole steward of Soriel's garden. The path taken has been difficult and filled with challenges, but we have overcome them. We have stood faithful to the tenets of our faith, and we have not let hope of a better future die. The time of spear, sword, and musket have passed. Now it is the time of ink and speech. The greatest council in all Bulwar's history will be celebrating Eduz Jaher, and with the support of all the priests of the Garden, Bulwar will be unified in body and in light. Uh... So we get Unity of the Sun Cult until the end of the game, which gives plus 25% female advisor chance, plus 2 tolerance to the true faith, plus 1 monthly admin points, and we gain 25 temple power. We'll just do a quick look through here again, just double check that we have not missed any missions. Uh, but, we're not done yet. Go call us, buddy. You, uh, you need to get annexed. That was part of the deal. Sure, I'll, I'll help you in this war, but I won't. Uh, we gotta, we gotta wait. We can't leave yet. Go call us, please. Please go call us. You need to get annexed, man. You need Dipple points. Seventy-five point seven percent. Why are we not annexing him? Is it because we're at war? Oh no. Oh no. No, that doesn't make sense. That's how that works. Did that just go down? Did that just go down? It, they might have developed or something. Oh, we'll take a... One of our maritime ideas. Our very important ideas that we definitely care about maritime. We definitely care about maritime ideas. There we go. Don't say I never took them. Alright. There we go. Now we're done. We've got our good borders here. Sure, Avil Tungar and Krathnor own some stuff in Bulwar. But that's like fake Bulwar. You know, it's all like... It's mountains and hills and dwarves and... The Canorians and all kinds of stuff. The real Bulwari people are down here, okay? This is where this is where it's at. 
I also have Korashesh as a vassal. So that's interesting and unplanned. Anything with that one. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for our Edu's Vacan campaign. I hope you enjoyed. I know I have. Edu's Vacan is an absolute blast. And honestly, one of the strongest tags, I think, in Ambidar. Simply because of the amount of monarch points you get with using this government type. Yes, the random government... Random stats is pretty bad. But if you can get up to getting the government reform that will show you them, then you'll be all set for that. And, I mean, this government type is just so strong. The Bulwari Temple is so, so, so good. Temple Authority is great. Uh, you can get a whole, all kinds of bonuses. Temple Rep, Admin Efficiency, uh, Dev Cost Reductions. Whatever you need, you can find it in this. And on top of that, the events that give you the Monarch Points, where you like spend 50 mil and gain 100 Admin, is absolutely nuts. I have had a blast playing Edu's Vacan, and I hope that you enjoyed it. But that is going to be it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.